keeping the homeless warm and dry. Some ladies in Leland are trying to help do just that by sacking the problem one mat at a time. WWY's Basil John has more on the group from Bridge Presbyterian Church. They're called the Happy Hookers, and it's a story that, well, is right now at 730. It all started with an idea and a bag. And I thought it seemed worthwhile and thought I would just try and see if anybody else would be interested in it. These women at the Bridge Presbyterian Church of Leland got together and formed the Happy Hookers, an organization dedicated to collecting plastic bags and recycling them into comfortable mats for the homeless. I, I like the idea that it's going to help somebody. I wish that there wasn't the need that we had to do this, but I'm glad that we're able to do something that will help someone who's not in a good place right now. They have been doing this for a few months and founder Mary Campbell sees it as a perfect way to give back. It's just amazing. It's, you know, it starts with a plastic bag. It's just a bag. And then what it can be, um, what can be done with it. You see somebody using it. People have dropped off their used bags and even businesses like Harris Teeter and CVS have pitched in and donated bags. It's nice to see all these plastic bags aren't going into a landfill somewhere. Uh, we can actually turn them into something that's useful. All they want to do is lend a helping hand to those who need it. It's mostly for the homeless in Brunswick County, but also we um, have some members of our church who carry them in their car and have given them out in Wilmington and places where they see they need them. This is just a couple hundred bags that are used to make these mats. It takes 1,000 bags to make a mat like this one. So they need as much help as they can get. In Leland, Basil John, WWAY News. And if you'd like to help the Happy Hookers, go to our website, WWAYTV3.com, to find out where you can donate and how you can also work and help make a mat.